pa pa. The Electromotive Division F3, part of EMD's iconic F series, is more than just a diesel electric locomotive. It's a symbol of American railroading's transition from steam to diesel power in the mid 20th century. Introduced between 1945 and 1949, the F3 played a vital role in reshaping the landscape of freight and passenger rail operations across the United States. The F3 followed the success of the earlier FT model and was an evolution in both engineering and design. It came equipped with a 16-cylinder, 1,500 horsepower EMD 5667B prime mover a two-stroke diesel engine paired with a generator and traction motors to drive the wheels. This combination made the F3 powerful, efficient, and reliable, perfectly suited to meet the growing demands of post-war railroads. From a mechanical standpoint, the F3 offered significant improvements over earlier models. One of the most defining characteristics was its flexibility. It was available in A, cab, and B, booster units which could be coupled together in multiple unit configurations. This allowed railroads to tailor power to the size of the train without requiring additional crew, which significantly improved operational efficiency. Visually, the EMD F3 is instantly recognizable. Its streamlined bulldog nose became an iconic design element of American diesel locomotives. The rounded contours, porthole windows, and sleek roofline weren't just for looks. They were designed to reduce drag and bring a modern, futuristic aesthetic that contrasted dramatically with the bulkier, more industrial look of steam engines. The F3 wasn't just an engineering upgrade. It was a public-facing shift in how railroads presented themselves in an era of modernization. The locomotive sat on two Blomberg B trucks, each with two axles, offering excellent ride quality and stability. It was also equipped with dynamic braking options in some variants, giving it more operational flexibility in mountainous terrain. Inside the cab, the F3 was much quieter and more comfortable compared to steam locomotives. Crew members no longer had to deal with the intense heat and soot common in steam engines. Controls were more streamlined, visibility was improved, and the maintenance requirements were significantly lower, further increasing the appeal for railroads looking to modernize their fleets. The F3 was used in both freight and passenger service, often painted in colorful, eye-catching liveries by different railroads to project modernity and progress. Whether hauling long trains of boxcars across the Great Plains or pulling streamlined passenger consists through the Rocky Mountains, the F3 delivered dependable performance for thousands of miles. 